It's Ask the Expert with Horizon Kitchens. We're talking kitchens today, so if you have questions, there's the telephone number. 613-789-6559, extension 2803. Uh, you can email questions, Facebook questions, even tweet us questions today. Aviva, I know one of the, uh, you're a kitchen designer. That's what Correct. you do. That's right. I know one of the, the biggest uh, questions you must get in general terms, before you sit down with a client, I'm sure, is how much this is gonna is this gonna cost me? <laughs> and it's so hard to answer that question. Very difficult. Unless you've got the plans and the ideas and what the customer wants set in stone. Otherwise, um, you know, asking that question is is basically a moot point until you get to that particular. That's right. Uh, part of the. Uh, there, it's the it's rather like asking how much does a sweater cost? Are you talking about something that's uh, cropped with short sleeves? Is it yeah. made out of cotton? Is it yeah. cashmere? Yeah. There's so many variations that can go into kitchen renovations that it's very difficult to put a price to it until you have the scope of the work. You should expect, uh, you know, to pay uh, a certain amount of money for it. But again, it depends on what you're doing, to what space, and how right. long it'll take, and what's there already, and what you plan on including in, in the new design and so on. And as well, the the homeowner skills, because a lot of time with there are people who are do-it-yourselfers, who are really happy to do their own demolition or to Is do it, their own. Tile and you guys work. have no problem with that. No, that's fine. Unla unless it affects what you're going to do to the place, I would guess, right, you know? Well, it is recommended that you have a professional installer put them in. You do want your kitchen to be level and plumb okay. and to be secured to the wall so it won't fall on your head. You know, these are really important I, points. I don't know about anybody else out there, but e even if I had the skill set to do uh, some serious handiwork around the house, that's not something I really want to get involved in because mm -hmm. I want it done properly. This is meant to be a focal point of your home. Uh, and you want it to, to function properly That's right. as well as look you know, the, the, the way it should. And it lasts a very long time. Well, this, yeah. is, this is a long-term investment in your home. Yeah. Uh, a benchmark that I was given by my sister-in-law, who's a real estate agent, right. was that you shouldn't exceed 10% of the value of your home in your kitchen renovation because anything beyond that in what you put into your renovation is purely for your own pleasure. It's not something you're going to be able to recoup when you sell your house. And oh, okay. I thought that was a really interesting a benchmark. I would guess that applies to bathrooms too, right? You know? Well, I don't think the percentage is quite the same no, but with, ba with would, bathrooms. Yeah, you would, you would kind of measure it. But uh, you also have to look at the neighborhood, the house. What type of house is it? You don't put um, a high-end kitchen with really top-of-the-line luxury finishes in a house that's a simple townhouse. Yes, you know? and it has to match up to the rest of your home. And it has to match the neighborhood because yes. if you if you put in these details that are really glamorous yeah. and the neighborhood is not suited, then you're not going to find a homeowner to buy it from you when the time comes and you sell. I know uh, from uh, talking to some of your people, I'm good friends with Corey as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. and um, uh, a lot of the work that you do these days is not just for uh, for single family homes or townhomes. We're talking about condos here because oh, yes. we're talking about using the, the space to its maximum. That's right. Especially when it comes to a condo. Mm -hmm. You brought along uh, some pictures of a beautiful space uh, here today that we're going to take a look at. And uh, and uh, here we go. This is, a, this is a condo area? This is a condo here downtown wow. in Ottawa. It is a really challenging space because, as you can see, there's only one wall that we could actually use, and that was the back wall with the fridge. Right. And all the appliances, all the storage had to go into this tiny, tiny little space. And in a completely open area. And they wanted an open look. They didn't want to add any walls. So we've got back-to-back -back storage on, on one side, uh -huh. and um, we've accommodated all of the appliances that they were looking for and at the same time kept the space looking open and, and quite beautiful. Well, one thing you know that you think would suffer in this case is counter space and uh, cupboards, but you seem to have managed to, to uh, remedy that situation. It's important that there's adequate work zones on both sides of the sink, on both sides of the cooking surface, so that you have somewhere to put things down when mm -hmm. you're working. And this kitchen really turned out quite well, both functional and, and for the looks. Right, right. Yeah, you managed to create enough storage, mm -hmm. enough counter space. That's right. And it looks brilliant. Thank you. Nicely done. We're going to take a break, but uh, one more opportunity, folks, for you to ask questions here on Ask the Expert. Uh, give us a call. Here's the uh, phone number.
uh, for Verizon Kitchens, as a matter of fact, if you want to call them. Uh, and get on the website, there's the website. I would guess you have to, you should book an appointment with a kitchen designer. Definitely. Yeah, that's the f step number one. C just call and, uh, and uh, figure something out along those lines. Uh, we'll be back with uh, more of Ask the Experts, 613-789-6559, extension 2803. There's the email address, there's the Facebook.